astonishing story. Yes, but there is more, sir. There is more because I still want to know what was done to me. Say, one day you and I must talk more in greater depth than now. I would like, I would like to tell you that since that time I have found that I know things that, that a man of my standard of education does, shouldn't know. These hands, and those who know me can confirm this, these hands not only have made these sculptures using ancient African metal casting secrets, these hands believe it or not, can make guns and working jet engines. And one day I wish you to come back to South Africa and I will show you one of these things. I know things which I shouldn't know and it started at that time. Now, you see, sir, I don't, I want to know what am I, since that terrible time, my life as a man was really messed up. And one day I will, t let me tell you, sir, since that time, I have become a very confused creature. It's very, it's very, it's embarrassing really. But since that terrible day, I became bisexual, which to me as an African is very, very disgusting. Since that time, my mind is, doesn't seem to be my own. I think about things that a man like me shouldn't bother himself about. I worry about people. I, it's sickening. Sir. I have ruined my life because of worrying about people. I feel that I could, I want to shake, ev to take every human being on this earth by the shoulders shake them roughly and say, listen, pastor, there is more to this earth than you think. Say, I have seen the chitaul. I have smelt them. I have, s I have had personal experience of these. And there are people who claim that these creatures are gods. There are people, say, who claim that these creatures are experimenting on us. That is a lot of rubbish. These creatures are harvesting us. These creatures are not aliens, Mr. Ike. These creatures are sexually compatible with our women. And what does that tell you? It tells you that they came from here. They are, they are, they are part of us. And this makes them all the more dangerous. They know us very, very, very well. They know the great weaknesses of our minds, just as they know the great strengths of our minds. They operate in, in what I call the gray area of human existence, that, that side of our lives which we don't want to acknowledge the existence of. They create, African tradition says that the Chitawuli were, were, 
where they engaged God himself in a terrible war and God defeated them, the real God, Nkudunkudu, the creator. God defeated them and he closed their mouths so that they are unable to talk or to eat food anymore. But we are told, say, that the Chitawuli fatten on the energy that we human beings give them. They make us to fight each other. And when the whole land is drowning in death and fear and terror, when hundreds and hundreds of people are angry and afraid, the cheetah will get fat because they eat that, that what we call the dark power which is brought about when human beings destroy the planet on which they live. They feed off human emotion. Yes, sir. very, very intense human emotion. For we are told, for example, that if you see a chitawuri walking through the bush or just standing there and looking at you and you are accompanied by your wife or your girlfriend, you must immediately make love to that girlfriend and release as much emotion as possible and the chitawuri will be pleased and will walk away from you and not harm you. 